Hello all of you beautiful people and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So obviously you can tell by the title down below this is a little bit different again for my channel. Uh, so recently I saw a YouTuber by Leigh Ann Says who I love so much. She is from Texas and she put up this video basically just kind of describing in the sense of like things that she doesn't purchase anymore which really resonated with me a lot when she was going through her list of basically just listing off things like that she used to spend way too much money on that she really doesn't do it anymore um, just because she kind of either broke out of those habits or realized she was just spending way too much money so I kind of wanted to do a video just like that so yeah stay tuned so if you guys like videos like this don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel <clears throat> And don't forget to hit that notification bell down below so you never miss a video with me, your girl, Sandra D. All right, let's just go ahead and get started. Obviously, this video is a little bit different, like I said in the intro. Just kind of basically talking about items that I don't purchase anymore that I knew I spent way too much money on back in the day um, that I don't really do anymore. And it just kind of, you know, gets you thinking of like how much money you really were spending and how much money you could have saved if you would have just like not jumped on the bandwagon and not done what everyone else is doing or just didn't spend money on bougie things to live a bougie life. So yeah, so the first thing I wanted to start off with is just a little bit of hair care, I guess. There's one item that I don't purchase whatsoever anymore and I used to purchase all the time is hairspray. Leanne said that she used to buy hairspray all the time because her hair never kept a curl. My hair on the other hand obviously does keep a curl. This is like my natural waves, natural curls that my hair does. Um, but I used to buy hairspray because it was like the thing to do to make sure your curl stayed in and locked in all day. But for me I guess it was different and I hated the way that it made my hair feel and it was crunchy sometimes. But I mean, I guess my curls would look pretty good in the sense of it all, but I did used to spend a lot of money on hairsprays just to make sure that my curls stayed in um, all day when I used actually like a curling wand or a curling iron, just things like that. But I don't spend money on hairspray anymore. I mean, do you still spend money on hairspray? I mean, I guess if you really stick straight hair, you have to spend money on hairspray, but that's just something I just don't do anymore. I think I have like one sample size of like a really small hairspray that I got in a subscription box that I have, and that's pretty much it. Now I know hairspray is something that you can actually use to as like a stain remover, I've heard. I've never actually really tried that trick, but my fiance like swears by it, so he used to have a bottle of hairspray. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind it is, but you can use it as a stain remover, but I just use like OxyClean and things like that, so whatever. Um, the next few things is about nail care. So I don't put nail polish on my nails. I don't do my nails. I probably should put cuticle oil because I have like really bad cuticles not to put myself on blast but I did back in like high school and in college used to spend so much money on getting acrylic nails and getting my nails done like that was just something that I guess I loved having nails because I naturally bite my nails so yeah I'm a nail biter just throwing that out there to all my nail biters out there but I that would help me from stop biting my nails when I had the acrylics but then after a while I would get so irritated with them you know sometimes it was hard to put my contacts in even though I got used to it after a while I still would occasionally poke myself in the eye and be like why did I put these on uh, also I play the guitar sometimes I mean I have a guitar sorry my nose itches um, I have a guitar and I play it sometimes so having acrylic nails you can't do that it's also hard to type on your phone like all those little things but I just loved the way that my nails looked my hands looked when I had you know acrylics on whether it was like a French tip or it was like some crazy like you know design or details and obviously nowadays even beyond from when I was in high school and college now the nail designs are getting way drastic like they're so far out there they've got like huge gems and charms that hang off of them and they're like five inches long that people like to wear their nails. I don't get it how you do anything with them. 
I can't. I just can't. Some people look really cute with them and want to spend your money on them because you have to get them filled every like three weeks depending on how fast your nails grow. So I don't know. I just, I can't justify spending money on that these days unless I have like a really special occasion. Then I would rather spend money on press-on nails because they aren't going to be like actually you know stuck stuck to my nails like acrylics would so and they're not as damaging as acrylics are to your nails so that's another reason why I stopped doing acrylics as well because actually with my acrylics one of the times when I was taking it off and trying to figure it out I actually split my fingers a few times or split my nails a few times so this finger right here if you can tell which I'll zoom you guys in nope nope this way not trying to flick you off at all just as you can tell, it is actually split down the center along with my thumb. My thumb is also split down the center as well, and that's from acrylics. And I also have like weird bumps in my nails, um, especially on my thumb right here. I don't know if you can tell, but there is a weird like dividend bump in my nail because of acrylics as well. So I've like really, really damaged my nails a lot just from having acrylics. So enough said I will no longer ever spend money on acrylics I'd rather just do press-ons and they come off a lot easier then the next item when it comes to nail care that I don't spend any money on is just nail polish which is like regular nail polish just because it, it chips so easily I know you have the OPIs and the SEs and like all the other different brands that are out there Wet n Wild has their own Revlon every makeup company pretty much has their own nail polish but I just feel like regular nail polish chips so easily and again I am a nail biter so even though I put, would put nail polish on I would love the way it would look and it would stop me from biting my nails it would just chip so easily no matter what special top coat you use that would really lock it in I just I can't do it anymore and just buy regular nail polish now what I have spent money on recently is actually having a gel a gel nail polish kit because obviously with gel nail polish that actually stays on your nails very well it doesn't chip yes you have to do use a little UV UV ray light whatever that thing's called um, but I actually have I think it's the sensation nails one that I bought at Walmart which is really super cheap and affordable if that's something you want now obviously you can find the ones on Amazon which come with really huge packages um, with everything that you need so you don't have to buy everything individually but if you like doing your nails I would definitely say take the splurge on buying a gel like an, a, a real gel nail like kit with the light with the special nail polishes that come with them because those actually really do stay on your nails so long and they don't chip they take forever to chip I mean I've had when I used to do it all the time when I switched from like regular nail polish to gel nails, which actually I got rid of my whole entire, whole entire nail polish collection. I gave it to my nieces because they love doing their nails. And I used to have a display back here. If you guys remember from one of my old videos that, that I used to have the display of my nail polish behind me. I don't have that anymore. Gave it away. Didn't want it. Gave it to my nieces. I just have a few colors of, nail, of gel nail polish that go with the gel nail kit. And occasionally I will use those. Or again, like I said, I spend money on press on nails which I do have a few different like press on nails that are down here which I haven't used yet um, which obviously I bought them and haven't used them should I have used them yet probably but then I keep on telling myself why am I gonna put on nails why am I getting put on nails because I'm just gonna get irritated with them after a while because of the things that I cannot do I'm just not that experienced anymore I'm out of the loop of having nails on and how to use my hands with having nails on also with press on nails or like nails that you glue on it's you still have to be careful because in case you like one chips off or one like pops off you have to have like nail glue in your purse or something like that so yeah so the next thing I want to talk about is more or less about like your skin so I can definitely say that I am guilty of spending money on tanning bed subscriptions I used to tan when I was in high school and college because I cheered and I always wanted to have a nice tan to my skin so I looked really good in my uniform.
But yes, I would spend buku money on tanning bed subscriptions to the local tanning place here. Um, doesn't matter which one it was, but I used to spend a lot of money on those tanning beds at least every other month. Now, I don't know how they still work now because I don't have them anymore, but from what I remember and also because I used to work at a tanning, a tanning salon um, in the beginning, which is also was my first job, which is kind of what got me addicted in the sense of it all of going to a tanning bed because every single day I worked, I got to tan for free after my shift. Um, but yeah, so it used to, what was that, like $30 a month or like 40 bucks a month where you could like tan unlimited, unlimited amount of times. Now obviously putting UV rays against your skin isn't really good for it because obviously it can cause aging, it can cause cancer, like there's so many things. Um, obviously that never really happened to me, but obviously there's a lot of bad side effects of doing, you know, going tanning almost every other day just to keep up your tan. You don't have to tan every day, people. You can tan like twice a week and still be okay. Like, and still get a nice glow to your skin if you're using, you know, tanning lotions, all those other things, etc. But again, I used to spend so much money a month late after I quit my tanning salon job um, just at other places because you can get like a student discount. And I'm like, yeah, save me some coin, even though I'm not really saving money at all. And then on top of that, to make your tan even last even longer, Guess what else people would spend money on? And I know I'm a culprit of it, and I know you probably are too, girl. I used to spend money on spray tans religiously. Ugh. The experience of a spray tan in the machine is just, it's just not good. You're, they're, you're getting this cold mist on you, you're freezing, you have to make sure you pat it, you know, on the right way, make sure you put the the moisturizer on the right way so you don't get patchy all over. Also sometimes depending on which tanning place you went to, I mean you had to try them all out right because they always said that their their spray tan was the best in the machine and they would tell you how to do it but sometimes you would turn out a little bit orange and it would obviously you couldn't wash off the wash off the tan for like 24 hours so it kind of sucked if you like had things to do that day on outside of like your spray tan so, I mean, there's also, you know, the spray tanning now is like there's way more professional ways that you can get it done by actually having someone actually use a spray tan gun on you. Um, obviously, you're naked in front of a stranger. So, if you feel comfortable with that, go for it. I've only done it once. And I was like, mm, a little hesitant about doing it. But my fiance really wanted to do it before we went to Mexico like two years ago because he wanted to tan because he doesn't tan very well. I do on the, other, on the other hand. So on top of getting this spray tan, I tanned even more on top of that. So yeah, and I just don't like the smell of like a spray tan. It just doesn't, it smells very chemically. It, you know, it sometimes can stain your clothes if you're not wearing the right stuff. Um, but just in general, I spent way too much money on spray tans and there's way better like home solutions you can do for a, you know, at home tan. So there's Loving Tan, which is a really great um, Australian company, I believe. You also have St. Tropez, which is a really good company, which you can find inside Ulta or um, or Sephora. They also sell Loving Tan now at Ulta as well. So you can get points instead of going after or going on their website, which I do use Loving Tan every now and then when I really want it, especially during the winter. More or less is when I use like the at-home tanning. Um, so that's just definitely a really good product to use, especially with Loving Tan. Like you don't get that orangey color. Um, it doesn't smell really bad at all either. It's like very a very light scent to it. So I would definitely try out some of the at-home Loving Tan, the more luxurious ones, the ones that are a little bit like midway priced, because if you try some of like, like the Jergen ones or the drugstore ones, they're not as great as some of these other like mid-priced ones, and at the end of the day, you get what you, you, you get what you get. So if you're paying for a cheap self-tanner, then you're going to get like a cheap, cheap looking tan, or if you decide to spend a little bit more money. Um, and get like the exfoliating, the exfoliating mitt. Make sure that you get the the mitt that goes with it that actually really helps you apply your tan. 
then you're going to get like good results out of it. And again, Loving Tan is definitely a self tanner that I really love to use. Plus also I have a gym membership to uh, Planet Fitness where obviously tanning is included and it's $21 a month where you can tan unlimited times you want to tan, once a day, whatever it is. So you know, gym tan laundry, right? On your days off. So go to the gym, tan if you want to, do some laundry at the same time, GTL for old time sakes. But yeah, definitely do that instead. Or if you want to lay out, lay out outside, lay out in your grass. You don't have to have a pool to lay out and put some tanning spray on your body. So, and that's way cheaper. Um, and yeah, so just do that instead. The next thing that I don't spend money on anymore, um, this is a little bit different. I mean, and not everyone's going to say the same thing. Trust me. It's, it's weird to even say it. I don't spend money on wine anymore. I noticed that like in high, in not high school. Wow. In college and like in my younger twenties, I used to drink wine so much and I think I just kind of. 86 it because of how much sugar can be in wine and obviously there's a lot of natural sugars and some uh, they say a glass of wine is actually really good for you because of the antioxidants and like all this other stuff that's in them but I'm just not a wine drinker anymore and I used to spend money on wine and then for a while my fiance actually subscribed us to a wine subscription and I was like no don't do it don't do it because some of these wines were actually pretty bougie um, they're more on the dry side and I like more sweet wines anyways, but I just don't spend money on wine anymore. That's really weird. I spend more money on seltzers and tequila and that's my thing. Seltzers and tequila, I'm good all day. I don't spend money on like the cordials, sometimes occasionally on vodka, sometimes occasionally on gin, but seltzers and, uh, and tequila and I'm good. And obviously with seltzers, there's a lot of different brands that are out there that are coming out almost every single day. I just saw the other day that Corona has their own seltzers now. Like what? What's going on? But if you want a really good seltzer and you want a good bang for your buck, and if you have an Oldies by you, Oldies has their own seltzers, which are called Vista Bay. $6 for six seltzers, same amount as any regular seltzer ingredients. Uh, alcohol content, carbs, sugar, calories, same thing, but it's a lot cheaper and it tastes just as great. So go check it out. Your girl loves the lime and the ruby grapefruit, but they also do have black cherry and they also do have um, a mango coconut, which I heard is actually pretty good, but those aren't my flavors. So I just stick to the citrus flavors because that's what I like. But yeah, I just don't spend money on wine anymore like I used to. And then the next thing I kind of want to talk about is more or less it, everyone knows that we should wash our cars, make sure we take off the dirt and grime off of them so that we don't damage the paint, damage the frame, um, and just maintain the cleanliness of your vehicle. So I actually don't spend money on individual car washes anymore. My car wash here where I live actually has a monthly subscription, which makes it so much more easier when it comes to washing your car. I can wash my car every single day if I want to. I can wash it twice a day, go to a different place. Um, but there's so many different subscriptions they have and they're actually really affordable. The average car wash is anywhere between like eight to $12 now, unless you get a discount from a gas station to that car wash place, which actually here where I live, um, you can go to like two different places where you can get um, money discounted off a car wash, but in general, so if the average price is 10 to $12 for a car wash for your vehicle, for you to go through an actual machine, instead of you having to do it yourself, which obviously you can do it yourself and that might be cheaper as well, but anybody got time for that? No one has time. So to make it a little bit more easier for us, they have car wash machines. You just drive your vehicle through and then you're off to the races. You're off, you can keep going on about your day. But I pay $44 a month for my car wash subscription that makes it super easy for me to wash my car whenever I want. So obviously just think about it. If you guys have a like a car wash that has a subscription to it, it makes it so much more easier. Again, mine has like a base wash. Then the one that I do is like a pick two 
where I have like four different options on how I want to do my car and I can switch it up every single day where it's like wheel bright, tire shine, clear coat and underbody. And then you also have the ultimate wash which does way more and you can get like wax on your car, all these other different things. But if you have the opportunity to get a subscription for your car to car wash to do a car wash a monthly subscription it's a way better bang for your buck than to just do individual car washes you know once once a week obviously um i wash my car almost every other day because i have a lot of construction going on where i work at right now at the moment because there's new apartment complexes going up and i'm driving it through dirt and rubble all the time so I want to maintain especially since I do have a leased vehicle that's one of the main important things why I have the subscription for my vehicle um, if it was just like my regular everyday car and I owned it I mean I still would take care of it but because this is a leased vehicle I'm taking more better care of it because when I go to trade it back in your girl wants a new car and still wants to have good credit so that's enough rambling on car washes the next thing that I don't spend money on anymore are magazines. I used to love, love, love spending money on magazines and rummaging through the pages and seeing all the new fashion trends and seeing, you know, what's going on in celebrity lives and things like that. But I just don't, I don't spend money on that stuff anymore because articles come out all the time on, and now with the online system, you can get a magazine subscription for twelve dollars now instead of actually having to for them to print off and actually go out physically and buy the magazine for like four or five dollars now because they've upped it because magazines just don't sell that well as they used to i mean you can go to what is it like walmart and they have a whole entire lane same thing with that kroger where i live there's a whole entire lane where they have all the different types of magazines that you can pick up but are people really reading those when you just have the easiness of reading it on your phone now these days and also it's a lot less wasteful I hate wasting paper um, I try and make sure I recycle as much as possible and I just feel like having a magazine is just very wasteful when there's an easier way of not wasting paper by just reading the articles on your phone so I just don't spend money on um, subscriptions anymore and I used to have a subscription to Cosmopolitan and yeah I just don't I don't do it anymore and then there are two more things that are on here that are on my list that I don't spend money on anymore anymore uh, which are kind of more makeup related so I used to love getting the newest makeup when it came out I wanted to try it, I wanted to have it I wanted to talk about it to my friends and that was before I kind of really got back into YouTube again where I would buy the newest products that came up by Maybelline or Revlon or whatever drugstore product that I can get my hand out that was really affordable for me I didn't really like to spend money on high-end money or high I didn't like to spend money on high-end products and that just wasn't something that I was really into and even now like I just I have to justify where I spend my money at just because we're in this time where not everyone has a job I'm blessed that I still have a job and that I still have an income but I still want to make sure that I'm being responsible with my money just because your girl, your girl still has bills to pay at the end of the day. I can't be spending money on every new launch that comes out, every new uh, Jeffree Star launch that comes out, or every new launch that uh, ColourPop keeps coming out with. God, they've popped out so many different um, collections within like this last month or so. I, I, can't, I can't even keep track. I cannot keep track of how many collections they've popped out. Now, obviously, I, I've watched the video about how they're able to do this and how they're such a sustainable company and able to pop out so many collections, but I don't have the coin to do that, to review it every single time. So just spending money on every new launch and every new product that comes out, I can't do it. I won't do it. Got to save money somewhere. But And also, use the products that you have. People are still interested if it's still out there in the market and people still love those products, use the products that you have, try them out. God forbid, I have so much makeup behind me in this Alexa drawer and then the other one over here that I haven't even tried yet, haven't even tested out yet. Um, so I have plenty of options. I don't really need to spend money on some of the new stuff, even though I just did for the first time. If you want to go check out that video, I recently just uploaded a video like two or three videos ago where I tried out the new Morphe 2 foundation. I tried 
Um, this guy right here, I also tried out the new uh, Maybelline Lifters, which this is the color on my lips right now at the moment. This is in Petal 05 and a bunch of other makeup that's in the drugstore that has recently come out. So please go ahead and give that video a big support. I would love it. Check it out. But that was the first time in a really long time that I've actually spent money on stuff like that. So, so. All right, and then one of the last things that I don't spend money on anymore, which I've kind of switched, and I think that's kind of just what's been going on in the makeup community. I don't spend money anymore on liquid lipsticks that are matte. And Leanne's, Leanne obviously pointed out a really good um, opinion on it. Obviously with matte lipsticks, they just become really crusty. They dry your lips out. They break. They just don't look that flattering if you don't top them with something. So, which is why I have been really keen on lip glosses that have some type of like sheen or color to it that really give your lips a more juicy effect. I've really fallen in love back with lips with lip glosses again, or just putting lip gloss over lipstick, because before I would just put a lipstick on and call it a day and walk out the door. But I do love the sheen, I do love the glow. Obviously, I've got a lot of glow all over my face right now at the moment. Actually, so the makeup that I have on my face, um, if you guys are interested, I recently followed Whitney Simmons's um, makeup routine that she did. It's an old video of hers that she uploaded, I think, either in the beginning of this year or at the end of last year. And it's her just kind of using, you know, cream products that she really loves that gives her that natural glow. She said she doesn't like putting, like, a lot of... Um, setting powder all over her face. She likes a more really dewy look. So if that's something that you guys are interested in, then leave me a comment down below if that's a video that you guys would like me to do. Um, but yeah, so that are, I don't know how many items that was that I listed. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, ten items? Actually, there's 11 items. There's another item on here. I don't remember how many items I've listed so far. The very last item, I'm sorry, I think, for real, the very last item are candles. Can you guys remember the phase of, like, Bath and Body Works of, like, having to go out and buy every single candle that they have, every new scent when they have their sales going on? I kid you not, I had the hugest box of candles that when I moved in with my fiance that I haven't I didn't buy a candle for like a good almost two years because I didn't need to and I started burning candles again I was like I need to go through these I have way too many I had the little mini ones I had the little jar ones like the, the medium ones I had the really big three wick ones like so many candles I kid you not it took me like two years to go through them just because I burn candles every once in a blue moon. I love the way they smell. I love the aesthetic. They're great to have, especially if your electricity goes out because I had to use I had to use a few of them recently when we lost electricity last week. We had a really bad storm here in Indiana that kind of like came through the Midwest. So it was a great thing to have all these candles, but at the same time, I don't go out and buy every new collection that Bath & Body Works comes out with, even though... I love, love, love those candles so much because they just smell so good. So good. Okay, so that is the last thing that I don't spend money on. So if you can relate to any of this, please leave me a comment down below on your opinion. Is there something that I miss that you don't spend money on anymore that we could relate on? Again, just let me know in the comments down below. So again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like videos like this, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell down below so you never miss a video with me, your girl, Sandra D. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to keep a lookout for my future giveaway for this month. It should be coming up soon in one of these next videos. All right, love you guys so much. Bye.